Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on factorization. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. This is a little bit tricky. It's actually a little bit unusual. Factorization. When you see the word factorization, just think of the word multiplication. When we are asked to factorize an algebraic expression, we need to express it as the product of two or more terms. Now let's have a look at some different examples. The first one is quite simple and it involves a common factor. We're asked to factorize 4x plus 20. So the common factor is 4 because 4 divides into 4 and into 20. So the answer will be 4 outside of x plus 5. And when we expand that, it gives us 4x plus 20. In a similar manner, we have to factorize this expression here. The common factor is 2m. So we take 2m outside of the bracket. And we're left with 3yz plus 4y squared plus 5z inside the bracket. So when we expand this, we end up with the original expression. The difference of two squares, this is a very important rule, and here is the general rule here. We have seen this in previous videos. A squared minus B squared is A plus B times A minus B. So if we're asked to factorize W squared minus K squared, that's just W plus K, W minus K. If we're asked to factorize this expression here, that's A squared minus B squared. So the A part is 5M squared K, because when you square that, that gives you 25M to the fourth K squared. And the B part is 6W to the 4, Y to the power of 3. Because when you square that, you get that. So the answer is this plus that, this minus that. It's exactly the same rule as we have there. Perfect squares. If you remember again the general rules that we saw in earlier videos, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is a plus b all squared and a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is a minus b all squared. If we're asked to factorize the following, m squared plus 8m plus 16, that's m plus 4 all squared. So if we follow the rule, we have m squared plus twice their product which gives us 8m plus the last term squared, which gives us 16. In a similar manner, if we have to factorize that expression there, the square root of 4y squared is 2y, the square root of 9k squared is 3k. And when we multiply those two together and double the answer, we get the middle term. So the answer is 2y minus 3k all squared. If we remember the trinomials, m squared plus 5m plus 6, if you remember from an earlier video, if you saw it, I, sh I taught you the crisscross method, a very simple way. m times m gives you m squared. 3 times 2 is 6. Now we have to check whether the 3 and the 2 are correct. So we go 2m plus 3m, that gives us 5m. So when you do the criss-cross method, that is, you cross-multiply and you collect those terms, you have to end up with the middle term. Then the answer is written this way, m plus 3 times m plus 2. And if you expand that, you will get that. In a similar manner, 3w squared plus 4w minus 7. The factors of 3w squared are 3w and w. Two factors of minus 7 are 7 and minus 1. Now we have to check if this works. 
7w minus 3w gives me 4w. So we know that is correct. So the answer is 3w plus 7. We write it this way. w minus 1. And that's the answer there. Now we have more expressions here and this is done by grouping of terms. So we have four terms here. If we take the first two terms we can write that as m outside of k plus y. Of course m is the common factor. And then we take those two terms there minus b outside of k plus y. Of course b is the common factor. So the answer will be m minus b which is there k plus y, which is there. If we're asked to factorise this expression here, we have to look at it very carefully, and we can see that this is the difference of two squares. So we can write w minus y, w plus y. Here we take out the factor of 2, so that gives us 2 outside of w minus y. So look at the common terms here, w minus y, there and there. So that appears here. We take that outside the brackets and we're left with W plus Y plus 2, which is there. Now, we have a tricky situation here where we have the sum and difference of two cubes. It's not a very common thing, but if you remember the general rules, it is reasonably straightforward. So if you have A cubed plus B cubed and you are asked to factorise that, this is the answer. So you just follow this rule here when you are ever asked to factorise a cubed plus b cubed. If you're asked to factorise a cubed minus b cubed, just follow that rule there. Let's look at some examples. We're factorising m cubed plus 27, which is m cubed plus 3 cubed. Now here, a is the same as m, and b is the same as 3. So you, you just follow this rule here, and we have m plus 3, which is like a plus b. The a squared, that's m squared, minus ab is minus 3m, there, and b squared is 3 squared, which is 9. So that's the answer. Factorise w cubed minus 64, which is w cubed minus 4 cubed. We just look at the rule here. So we have w minus 4, then we have w squared, which is like the a squared, plus 4w, which is like the ab, and b squared, that's 16, which is 4 squared gives you 16. The last one's a bit tricky, but again, it applies to the second rule here. So, how can we express that expression there as something cubed minus something cubed. Well, here we are. The a part is 2my squared. Of course, when you cube that, 2my squared all cubed gives you that term. 5k cubed all cubed gives you that term. So if you let that part be a and that part be b, all you do is substitute in. You just substitute into that formula there and you end up with this answer. And that is the factorization. So that expression there has been factorized and there's the answer there. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. The answer to the puzzle, what is the meaning of the following? Stand in alphabetical order. How tricky is that? Just think about it and I think you'll understand that one. Here are the answers to the quick quiz and the video is at your disposal. If you found this video useful, please subscribe on the next slide. You will receive a notification when the next video is available. Please share with your friends. Hope to see you next lesson.